What's going on guys? So the craziest thing that's ever happened to me happened to me a couple of days ago. I ended up getting a Tesla Cybertruck. I know there's going to be comments from some of you saying, oh, you wasted your money or, you know, the thing looks like a trash can or whatever you guys want to say. And like, you have every right to have a different opinion from mine. But for me personally, I think it is the coolest vehicle I have ever seen. I waited five years to get this thing. Five years since they did the unveil. And let me tell you, it's been a long wait. The reason why I had to wait so long is because they came out into the US first. I'm in Canada, so the US got it first. They just started shipping them out here on November 4th, 2024. And it's absolutely crazy that we have them now here in the frozen wastelands of Canada. And I'm telling you guys, look, I'm into Lamborghinis, Ferraris. I'm into all kinds of different vehicles, but nothing stands out to me like the Cybertruck does in the best possible way I can possibly think of. And when I first saw it in 2019, it quickly became my dream vehicle. And I had to save and invest and do whatever I possibly could over the past five years to be able to get one. And now that I have one, it is just surreal to go into my garage and just see this triangular monolith sitting there in my garage waiting for me to drive. It's absolutely nuts. Now the reason why I actually love the looks of this thing is because I am super, super into futurism. Like, insanely into futurism, to the point where, you know, I think of my dream house as being a very sterile and cold environment. That's not everyone's cup of tea, that's for sure, but it certainly is mine. I don't know why I'm so into futurism and just the minimalism and simplicity of all that kind of stuff, but I just absolutely love it. So when I got to the delivery center, there was quite a few of them there, actually. I counted around 16. And this is all despite the fact that it's pretty expensive up here in Canada. It starts at around $137,990 Canadian dollars, and people don't care. A lot of people absorb the price and they just took it because, you know, they love this thing too, just as much as I do. The best way to describe driving a Cybertruck is, I would have to say, because of the steer-by-wire system, it kind of feels like you're driving a tank. It feels huge and massive. But at the same time, it turns on a dime, or at least it feels like it turns on a dime. And it's weird, it's so unusual for a vehicle of that size to kind of feel like that. Just everything about this vehicle is so much more different than anything I have ever driven before. I mean, I've driven a lot of different kinds of vehicles. The most comparable vehicle that I used to drive was a Ram. It just, it feels bigger than the Ram. I don't know if that's true though. And actually the last vehicle that I owned before this, I actually traded it in for the Cybertruck, was my Tesla Model 3. So I do actually have personal experience with EVs. And they are just the most incredible vehicles I have ever driven. And I highly, highly advise you guys, if you don't like EVs or, or you just, you know, you don't know too much about EVs, go give one a try. It doesn't have to be a Tesla, but just try one. Try one for yourself. I think a lot of people do like driving EVs after testing them, but not everybody. You know, you can't please everybody. There's going to be some people that love gas-powered vehicles over electric, and that is absolutely fine. You have every right to do that. I absolutely do not support the government sweeping in and just trying to stop you from driving your gas-powered vehicle. I don't like that stuff. I am 100% pro-freedom, freedom to buy whatever the hell you want to buy. That is not up to me, and it's not up to the government to decide who the hell gets to drive what. I just also wanted to let you guys know that I've had a lot of interactions with people over the past couple of days, like an insane amount. It's crazy how much attention this thing gets. I have never driven anything with this level of attention before. It's pretty much almost all been positive. I've had a good handful of people walk up to me and some people even ask, you know, what the hell is it? And of course I replied saying, it's a Tesla. And they're like, really? Like they were shocked. They were shocked that this thing was a Tesla because it's just so different from everything else Tesla's done, which I give them credit for. This is such a unique and cool design. And the fact that they were able to get this thing into production is a huge feat of its own. I've also had a lot of people, you know, as they're driving past me and they're giving me the thumbs up and stuff like that. But going onto the highway, the majority of reactions that I've had with people was every few cars that passed by, they had their phones out taking videos and pictures and stuff like that. It was, it was a wild experience, to say the least. I mean, I've had a couple of people literally stop the long line of traffic behind them just so they can take a picture of this thing. And all of this happened in just a couple of days of owning this thing. I just wanted to take a moment to thank you guys for watching my videos. I know I haven't been uploading a lot of long form videos for a while. And the reason for this is I'm just so busy with a bunch of stuff in my life that it's very hard for me to spend time, you know, recording and then editing all these different videos. That's why I've been resorting more to YouTube Shorts. So I've been trying to get those YouTube Shorts out as quickly as I possibly can. And now that I have a Cybertruck of my own, I do plan on doing a lot more Cybertruck videos. I can actually start doing videos now on some of the features that this truck has or what it's like to live with, all that kind of stuff. 
But yeah, I appreciate every single one of you, no matter your viewpoint, whether you love the truck, whether you hate it, it doesn't matter. Everybody can have their own opinion, and I am all for that, so bring on the comments, guys. I am super excited to start doing some more videos on the Cybertruck, so stay tuned for those, and I'll catch you all in the next video.